Hey, what is up my friends? Welcome back to the channel. So, last video was very well received and we're gonna do another one. Today we're gonna play Red Dead Redemption 2 and we're gonna be playing it on the Lenovo Legion 5i. Now, I have selected the discrete graphics and the software of Lenovo Vantage and we're gonna be playing on native and DLSS settings and we're gonna use Lenovo fan control software. Now, these are the settings we are going to be using. And let me just quickly show you what settings I have selected for the fan control. So the first one is 40, 45, 55, 65, and 75, plus some RPMs, which can be found in my other video on YouTube. Now, let's see if we still have the settings correct. He attempts to switch to full screen borderless. But we want to play full screen. Okay, so DLSS is turned off. So this is native 1600p. If somebody asked me to play with my hands, I have no idea why, but sure, <laughs> I'll play with my hands on the laptop itself. Now, Legion Fan Control is a software, a third party program software, which allows you to set a manual fan curve, something Lenovo doesn't offer themselves. By the way, before we go any further, over here you can see the inside temperature, the left number, which is 22 degrees Celsius. So I'll just put that a little closer so you can monitor it. It might be a little affected because the laptop is blowing out the hot air, but hey, at least you get an impression of how warm it is in here. So, in terms of thermals, it's doing rather good. It's also standing on a cooling duct, which is active at this very moment. And the GPU is overclocked. And this guy, well, Oh, he's going to be dead. <laughs> Is he still alive? I guess not. So you can find the different resolutions and settings within the timeline. I'm just going to play around a bit like I always do. Kill things and dismember people. Just what I'm good at. He had no damn time for me. He has no time left at all. So this is Red Dead Redemption Online for those who have been wondering. And the Legion fan control really, really keeps the thermals in check. Uh oh. We have just encountered another player. So let's go to the city. Let's try some DLSS in here. Native is crazy. Now we're using a factory overclock on the GPU, which I will show you now. Software, so this is the overclock. It's the GPU clock offset is set to 100 megahertz and the VRAM clock offset is set to 200. Megahertz. Now we have auto close and overdrive enabled, which increases the response time of the screen. Okay, so we're in the city and let's just switch on some DLSS. I'm not going to pause the video, so you still get a good idea of what I'm doing. Quality, save it. So just turn on DLSS. And we get a little bit more FPS. Somebody making a comment on my gun. I guess. I guess we're gonna have to teach him a little. Capture a few knives. 
Where is my other knife? Somewhere over here. There we go. So. Just dismounted from my horse randomly. <laughs> so we're gonna try 1200p in a second as well. First, I guess we're gonna do a little shootout. Because we are not giving up. back we just died and we switched to 1200 P native ultra settings so these are pretty much the highest settings you can turn on in this game and I always get a lot of questions and they keep asking me like Turiel how does 1200 P look or can you play 1080p on this laptop and let's break it up so you can play 1080p on this monitor but as it is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen, that means that means the screen is taller than a normal screen. But if we would compare it, it would be as tall as a 17 by 3 inch screen, but only as wide as a 15.6 inch screen. So you have a tall screen. Now, that warps the number on the resolution. So 1200p is just because you have a little bit more screen on the top. And bottom and that changes the last number if you want to play it in p that is also possible but you will have at the top and the bottom a black bar and you will have to be forced to play on a full screen borderless if you force it on full screen it's going to be like crammed together and it's going to be a very tall screen so does 1200p look something like 1080p and actually it looks very similar. It is a higher resolution, but it's only because the screen is taller, so that you can see a little bit more. So it is a higher resolution, but uh, look-wise, it'll look just like 1080p, if that makes any sense to you. So we're still playing 1200p native, and I think we're gonna switch to The LSS on. Now I keep setting the LSS to performance. You can also switch to quality or whatever settings you want to set. Let's see if we're still full screen. Yes, we are. And I do notice that if you play 1200p and you turn the LSS on, there is very little difference. Now, for most games, 16 gigabytes is enough. Now, our system has 32 gigabytes. I personally want to have 32 gigabytes of RAM because some games require just a little bit more. And I'm just gonna buy it for the sake of what they call future proofing. Not that I think that really matters because you can easily upgrade the RAM, but hey. If it helps some with the frames, I'm, I'm getting. So, let's, we gotta kill things. No dogs, things. That is a thing, look, a thing. Oh, he got me. Now to conclude the video, as we just died and we're still very pissed off, we're going to stab someone and <laughs> finish the video. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a good one. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you like me stabbing people in the game. Ha ha ha, you're too late. I already stab a eat him. Horse, escape! That was a good one. This game just makes me so violent. <laughs> I love this game.
All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see any certain game or setting or resolution or whatever, let me know down in the comments below. And I actually read comments. I listen to them or I will reply to them. And if you like this video, share with a friend. Tell them, tell them you love them. And I'll catch you next one. Peace.